Publicly, I'm known as an actress and performer, but privately, I'm one of the six million people born with dyslexia in the UK. I found school life difficult at times. I remember running after my dad in the mornings in tears when he dropped me at the school gate. It wasn't just the reading and the writing I suffered with, but my self-confidence was extremely low. But I then got diagnosed with dyslexia at the age of seven, which meant from that moment on, I got the help, the support I needed. And if I hadn't, I know it would have held me back. Ben also found it hard to learn to read and write. Ben didn't really cope at all when he started school. He um, was very tearful and really found school a challenge, a really terrifying place, I think, for him. I couldn't read hardly, couldn't write. I just didn't know what was happening. And I gave up on myself, really. I thought, I can't do it, really. But he was very distressed. And whenever you asked him, you know, what did you do today that you enjoyed? He'd say, I came home. At seven years old, Ben was diagnosed with dyslexia, but he continued to struggle in class. Sometimes I felt that I was stupid because my friends would be just doing much better than me. He walked looking at the ground. He, he was a sad little boy. There was a shadow over him, a rain cloud of not being able to read and write. My experience with dyslexia has led me to get involved with Dyslexia Action, a charity dedicated to empowering everyone affected by dyslexia and literacy difficulties, giving children and adults all the help and support they need. When Gavin was growing up, his undiagnosed dyslexia plagued his entire school life. Coming home, getting homework, I used to like cry a lot because I knew I couldn't do it. The writing part, spelling part, that was like a nightmare. I don't know, your worst is fear that you could ever have. I just knew that I couldn't cope. I could there's something that I just didn't get. I couldn't read words. The teachers were saying, oh Gavin, you could do it, maybe next time. And I'm like, help me, please, please help me. Gavin's dyslexia was finally recognised at the age of 14, and he was granted additional lessons. Gavin managed to get eight GCSEs, but his hopes of a further education at college were soon crushed. I was told that I was gonna get support for the two years that I was there, but I only got it for six months. The funding ran out, so I just gave up. Feeling angry and rejected, Gavin started to lose his way. I just started smoking, hanging around with the wrong crowds. I was close to almost going to prison, like, hanging around with those type of people. Fortunately, this is just the type of situation that Dyslexia Action can help with. With early identification and the right kind of help, the charity believes that dyslexia needn't be a barrier to achievement or success. So they offer support to people of all ages who have dyslexia through their 26 centres across the UK. Kevin Geeson is head of the charity and is dyslexic himself. Dyslexia Action is about removing the barriers for people with dyslexia. And one of the best ways of doing that is by giving them the kind of specialist tuition that we offer here at this centre. Asked, what's making that sound? There's two letters. It's not about being stupid or lazy. <laughs> you know, I know you know it. It's just about our brains working differently to everybody else's and processing information in a different way. At this centre in North London, specially trained teachers provide one-to-one -one tuition. The skills we're trying to help people to develop here are reading, writing, spelling, organisational skills and building their working memory. Each individual is given a tailor-made learning programme. See how quickly now you can match the letters to the picture cards. The specialised teaching helps them develop the basic skills that they need, but also it helps them develop their self-confidence in order that they have the opportunity to maximise their potential and thrive in today's world.
Sven's family discovered dyslexia action when he was eight years old, and he started to attend regular lessons with a personal teacher. When I went to dyslexia action, I felt happy and my problems would go away for that hour because all you focused on was yourself and the teacher. She supported him in a lovely, gentle, caring way and she taught him in exactly the way he needed to be taught and within a year he was completely literate. When I went back to school from Dyslexia Action I felt that I'd made enormous progress and my work would just get better and better and better. It was fantastic to see the progress that Ben made. He has gone from strength to strength. She really did change his life and she made him a very happy young man. Um, and he's gone from being that very quiet little boy who was afraid to being a normal 13-year-old boy who is very popular and he has lots of friends and he doesn't tidy his bedroom enough. <laughs> and he's coping really well with school and enjoying life. He's living it to the full. Dyslexia Action was also there for Gavin when they paired him up with one of their teachers, Margaret Rooms. So I went to Margaret Rooms at the age of 26 to, um, to get, a, to get some, some help to help me to become in a London black cab driver. And when I failed my first exam, I got kind of nervous. I found my second one, she started to show me some things that I could do. So if I found a name of a building that I couldn't read, I'd use it as an association like she told me. So I made up songs, like nursery rhymes, stories, I rapped some of them. It made me um, realise that anything's possible. Finally, three years later, Gavin passed his exams to qualify as a London taxi driver. When I got my badge, it was the best feeling I ever had in my life, knowing that I wasn't never a waste, that I had a gift, I had something to offer. Since becoming a father, Gavin's learnt that his daughter has dyslexia, but thankfully, Dyslexia Action are now helping her too. So I can say thank you very much for Dyslexia Action for helping me and my, my children, because it's helped me to be a better son, a better brother, a better father to my family, and that's all I've ever wanted to be, so thank you very much. Dyslexia Action knows that specialist tuition for those with dyslexia really does change lives, but currently they are unable to address the needs of everyone who comes to them for support. With your help, they can. Please donate by going to the website dyslexiaaction.org.uk forward slash donate or call 0300 303 8356. Or, if you'd like to post a donation, please make your cheque payable to Dyslexia Action and send it to Dyslexia Action, Park House, Wick Road, Egham, Surrey, TW20 OHH. And if you want the charity to claim gift aid on your donation, please include an email or postal address so that they can send you a gift aid form. Thank you. <laughs>